What's the crack, lads? We're back with another phenomenal finishing player review this time. Yeah, I mean, there's a brand new player skill in. We're going to get into that in a second. We're also going to review these players. And I mean, are these guys going to be worth it? That's the big question, right? Without beating around the bush, okay? Because you've got a one in 150, well, a three in 150 chance of getting uh, one of them. Um, but if you are looking for Haaland, man, you have a 1 in 150 chance of getting him, right? Is it going to be something that you do spin for? Obviously, everything new and shiny is going to be, you know, exciting or whatever. Um, but let's talk about the cards, right? Because if you guys have noticed, there is a brand new player skill, Phenomenal sh Finishing, for these cards. So these are called Phenomenal Finishing cards, and they do have just this unique Phenomenal Finishing player skill. So... Yeah, I mean, I've been, like, talking about this. I thought that they were going to do it at, the, at, at launch to kind of have players that have specific skills or specific stats, right, that are going to make it that you want to have a player that, let's say, for example, you have, you know, a version of Haaland that maybe comes out like this, that has a unique player stats, um, that has unique player skills, that has unique kind of maybe new hairstyle or something like that. We've seen him do it with Messi with his epic version compared to his young version or Neymar. Um, but yeah, we will get into that later on and we will get into that in a couple of live streams where we talk about it. I also have a video coming on this as well. But for now, we are going to review the players. So you've got Haaland here, right? The one thing about Haaland, lads, is apart from all the player skills and the phenomenal finishing, I think the biggest problem with Haaland is genuinely his balance, right? And his lack of balance and stamina. Even when you train up his stats max them out as best as you possibly can and really kind of like you know don't go too mad on the shooting you leave no passing uh trained up you just pump in dribbling i think dribbling getting the tight possession to 70 is a must you could get away with it probably at a six if you wanted to get one more into dexterity to get that balance up to 70 but even at that man 14 points into dexterity you're still only getting 70 balance and 70 stamina right if we take away even two of this right to bring the offensive awareness to 90 which i think is still enough you have 67 balance but you do have 76 stamina and 92 speed so i don't know man um obviously Haaland is going to be a monster right i think that they did nerf him but i think this card with the phenomenal finishing is going to make a huge difference because of the way that they word um, the phenomenal finishing, right? And I'm going to get into that in just a second, right? We will get into that in another video. And I'll talk about a couple of differences that I've noticed in the card and from playing with him and stuff. If you are going to be playing with Haaland, it is going to be kind of a, a different version of him because obviously his balance is really low there, no matter how we train him up. But you do have that phenomenal finishing that is going to kick in um, and that player skill is going to kick in similar to how they've kind of buffed up acrobatic finishing and how they've decreased long range curler and long range shooting like they've kind of messed up with that a little bit um but yeah as a super sub he's still the best super sub in the game and that is the training guide that i would do for him that 97 overall next up we do have harry kane um we are going to get to him right here he's a center forward as well Right, so Harry Kane, he's on A form as well. He does have unwavering form. He does have phenomenal finishing with this card and this card only. If you go in and look at his standard card, which we'll do here now, look, you can see the differences in the card there. So yeah, look, it is it is something to definitely dive into in a future video. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the difference between it because I know I will get a lot of questions about it. But yeah, moving on with the review. I think the main thing you want with Harry Kane is his shooting ability and his aerial ability. He is fairly tall. He isn't going to be fast. He isn't going to be agile. And him and Haaland are very similar players in the fact that Haaland is a fox in the box. He's a deep line forward. But Kane can actually bring others into the play a little bit and shoot from distance a little bit better, I would say, because of his um, player card and the fact that he has got long range curler, right? So, that is two things to keep in mind there. I mean, off, off his base, you're not going to have an amazing fast, amazingly fast card, right? But we've got 92 offensive awareness and 94 finishing, 87 kicker power and 81 stamina. Again, you're going to be low on the balance with 69 on the balance, 72 on the speed and 68 on the acceleration. Even when we pump in eight 
stat upgrades to his acceleration. 68 is all that we can get there, right? This is the, probably the ultimate version of him that I would train up at 96 overall center forward. We're going to completely ignore passing because he doesn't need it if you are going to be using him as a player um, to score a lot of goals. If we are using him as kind of like a Dennis Burkamp type player, right? I'll give you another option. I would probably reduce the finishing. 90 is enough for him, I would say. He does have long range uh, curler. So you don't need to worry too much about finesse shots and curl shots. He'll be able to do them. And if you are looking to actually get a player like Burkamp that can kind of, you know, get in the pocket and be able to actually, um, you know, make a couple of make a couple of difference, uh, differences with key passes and stuff, I would probably take off a lot of that. I would leave the header up a little bit. Obviously, you want to be able to get him in the box, but I'd probably have this base and then I would probably pump maybe eight into passing and then maybe one more into dexterity to get that offensive awareness up and also his low pass up to 80. That's kind of where I'd go with it. We also could have one more into shooting if we wanted to um, just to kind of make him a 95 overall. But yeah, that's kind of like a very, very kind of like different type of center forward, deep line forward um, that you could use there. So how he stacks up to his, you know, original card, it's not it's not bad. I mean, he's 24 levels here in his original card. This card is obviously going to be superior. Um, but the only thing worse with this card is the ball control and finishing. You know, it's not a massive downgrade. There's only three stats and the balance is worse than his standard card. Now, his England card is a lot better, but that's only got 17 levels to go with a base of 86. So it's kind of pick your poison, lads. They're very similar cards. Obviously, this guy has got um phenomenal finishing as well which we've covered with Haaland and his standard car doesn't have it so that's something to keep in mind as well he probably is going to be very very overpowered with the way that they've added the phenomenal finishing at the moment they'll really want to highlight that in my opinion so last but not least we have Oshman now they've added a new face for him with the face mask across all cards it's not like the Messi version where they added just the messy new face upgrade to that epic card that they had for the world cup um but yeah i mean he's on standard form but a rating so there's no fear of that now when you have a look at his player skills lads he doesn't have as many player skills as the other two boys but the season he's having man i would have liked to have seen him i've watched a lot of clips and games of him and i think he is united's ultimate target if we were to get him he would be an absolute beast for us uh, up front out of all these guys uh, I think he's you know the right age for Ten Hag and all that but anyway I'm being a United fan now instead of reviewing the players but what I like about him is not just his blister and pace which we can you know max out as best as we possibly can is that there's a lot of different ways of training him up right so player skills not too worried about that but he's got you know high 70s or low 80s with speed acceleration jumping and finishing which is always a good sign and offensive awareness at 78 is huge as well so our main thing here with Oshman is going to get him to have very high offensive awareness and very high acceleration that brings it up when they go tracking together and they train together. He is a goal poacher, so you need to train him quite differently. He's going to be all about getting in off the shoulder, turning defenders, touching goals in around um, and just like poaching those goals, so to speak. Finishing 87 is enough in that. I'm going to pump in 12 into dexterity, 8 into dribbling, 4 into lower body and 4 into aerial strength with 8 into shooting, right? You should be able to finish with any striker that has 87 uh, finishing, lads, genuinely. Um, just be calm in front of goal and do a bit of practicing and training if you are struggling. But, you know, you can finish with players that have like 80 finishing in this. So 87 is more than enough. Now, I think the main thing with him, again, as I've said, people will say, you know, you don't need to focus too much on pace. I'm not focusing too much on pace. I'm focusing on his balance, which is tied to acceleration and offensive awareness. So that's why I have that acceleration stat so high. It's not for the pace because the pace kind of, you know, defenders can still catch center forwards. It's more about the balance to get that over 75. He'll be able to shrug off opponents. And it's the same way with the aerial strength and the tight possession. That's why I've trained him up the way I've trained him. Um, you know, before V2.4, I wouldn't have trained him like this. But yeah, I think that's the best overall version of him at a 96 overall. So that is it for me, lads. I'll be back quite soon. I hope you enjoyed this review in depth as always. And uh, we'll be back quite soon. And I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.